fun size spooks. Rokorokubai, Japanese vampires. In the land of the rising sun, Dracula takes a back seat to a different blood sucking fiend. The Rokuro Kubai. According to legend, these demons are usually female, often beautiful. They appear human by day, but after dark can stretch their snake like necks horrifyingly long and send their heads off exploring. They may be up to any number of things, from spying on their neighbors to get the latest juicy gossip, to harmless pranks, or even death by exsanguination. These unfortunate fiends once lived as human women, but are now cursed either because of a sin they themselves committed or a sin committed by a family member. Seems unfair. The curse can even be passed down from mother to daughter. A Rokuru Kobai is said to be identifiable during the day by stretch marks or red lines on their neck, which they will often try to conceal. One creepy story tells of a traveler who journeyed to a remote village in the foothills of Mount Yoshino, where all the inhabitants wore scarves around their necks. He thought it was just an odd custom until nightfall when he was set upon by dozens of snake-necked demons. A subset of the Rukuru Kobai are the Nukikubi, who can remove their heads completely. The discorporated craniums will either float on their own or fly on bat-like wings, stalking their victims. According to folklore, their heads must reunite with their bodies by sunrise. So if you hide the headless carcass, the head will be unable to find it and the Nukikubi will die. In some tales, the Nukikubi are unaware of their curse. A man is said to have awoken in the night with a woman's head hovering above him. He chased the winged specter with a sword until it flew into a neighboring home. The man listened at a window and heard a woman awake from sleep and tell her husband she had a horrible dream that a man chased her with a sword. Several other Asian cultures have similar fables about flying demon heads. China has the Hitoban, Indonesia the Leek, Malaysia the Pinangalan, and Thailand the Krasu. In these legends, not only does the head detach, but the entrails come along for the ride. The better to eat you with. The Philippines has the Mananangal, where the entire upper body separates from the legs and flies around on bat wings. There are fables about Rokorokubai and Nukikobi throughout Japan, many dating to the Edo period between 1603 and 1868, and they remain popular legends today, appearing in movies and anime including 1968's 100 Monsters and 1994's Pompoko. Kanojo wa Rokurokubi follows the love life of a snake-necked girl. So if you're planning a trip to Japan, keep your window shut at night, or a Rokuru Kobai may head your way in search of mischief. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon and help me make more horrifying videos. Patrons get cool perks like exclusive content, mentions in videos, and can even request video topics. A link to my Patreon is in the description. Thank you for watching and unpleasant dreams, darlings.